guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another haul. Um, I've been meaning to show you some of these pieces for a while, but I didn't have like a ton of either brand, so I thought I would mix up a couple of brands, and they're not really ones that you would expect to go together, but I feel like they're both quite premium high streets. So we've got Ted Baker and Revolve. One is very British, one is very American. So we've got something from either side of the pond. Um, so hopefully something for everyone and some pieces I really love. So if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I'm doing videos pretty much every day at the moment. I've got lots of styling videos coming, things like wardrobe tours, collection videos, handbag reviews, anything you guys want to see, just let me know and I will film it. Uh, and also I'm going to be doing lots of hauls, I've got lots of hauls on their way, delivery is a bit slow and I'm thinking I'm just going to do a homeware haul too, I'm just waiting for one mirror to arrive uh, and I've got quite a few things that I want to show you guys so I'm really excited for that because we're in my first homeware haul. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram make sure you go and do that so you can see how I style all of these pieces and my home Instagram too, like I'm not, I'm not being biased, well I am, but uh, my home is beautiful. <laughs> Let me put a picture in. Like, honestly, I die. Um, okay, so let me get into the haul. So the first thing is this jumper. So I'm gonna stand here while I talk about each piece and then I'm gonna style it in a couple of different ways here to give you some outfit ideas of how you can wear it. Um, so this jumper, um, I didn't think I needed another queen jumper and then this arrived and I realized I definitely did. Um, so I love this because all my other cream jumpers are kind of, they've just got something to them. Something to, not that this hasn't got something to them to it, but they're like crossover, or they're super chunky, or they're like high neck, like polo neck, or they're really baggy. This is just a perfect kind of boxy cream jumper, really classic. It's not going to go out of style. It's got a nice high neck, but it's not too high. It's just nice and flattering. It's got really long sleeves, which you guys know I love, and it just kind of goes with everything. It's not really super thick either, so either. So when you tuck it in, it hangs nicely, and I actually really love the boxy fit of it too. I just think it's kind of a wardrobe staple and a classic. So the next thing I want to show you from Ted Baker, I'm not actually going to put on. Oh, I've not taken the sticker off of it. It's got a little sticker on it. I haven't taken it off. I can't do it with these nails on. I put fake nails on, guys. I painted them myself. What do you think? There should be a vlog up of me doing it, if you want a little bit of a lol. Because um, I had an emotional breakdown and a lot of failed attempts. Um, what, let, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think of these nails. Um, I did an Instagram poll and like most people said, they're a ratchet. <laughs> Which is always lovely. <laughs> I think they're ratchet too. I don't even know what ratchet means. I just know it's like, that's so ratchet. It's an American word, isn't it? Um, please tell me if you know what it means. And I'm sorry if I'm being offensive. <laughs> Probably shouldn't use words I don't know. Um, so, let's get back to the... Video. I'm not going to put these on because you won't be able to see them. Obviously, you'll see them there, um, styled up two ways. So these are a kind of smart loungewear piece. I got them when we were in lockdown, so they are more of a kind of smart material. So I do think that they will be good as well when we come out of lockdown because they're quite smart. I think you could wear them for work or with like a t-shirt and heels would look really nice or just like trainers, whatever. But I think that they are nice trousers in themselves is what I'm saying, not just because they're comfortable. Uh, they are elasticated at the back, which actually looks all right. I thought it might look a bit uh, ratchet, but it doesn't, it looks really nice. Um, and they're just a really nice kind of calming blue, pale bluey gray color. They've got this stripe up the side, uh, like a wide stripe uh, and they're flared and they are really flattering on, really comfortable. Wide trousers are just the most comfortable. I have a few pairs of tailored trousers but nothing this wide so I'm glad to add these to my collection. I don't think I've got anything that's like grey either. Then the last thing I got from Ted Baker is this t-shirt so I'm going to put this on now. Ta -da! So I've actually already worn this t-shirt in one of my videos. It was my styling pastels video. I'll link up here down below, you too slow, um, and I really love it, so this is actually a surprise gift from Ted Baker, when they locked down, I don't know if it was when the lockdown was announced, or just before, they basically asked my dress um, for a surprise gift, which is always nice, because you're like, well, what's coming, um, and they sent me like a little care package with like, this lounge, it's a lounge where this t-shirt is, uh, a little water bottle, um, a charging cable, a candle, just some goodies to kind of like keep me going, like a little positivity pack, which was so lovely and thoughtful. I always think it's so nice when brands do that because it just makes you think like they actually care. Um, 
J don't just think that I'm like a cardboard cat out that can put clothes on. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, anyway, this is actually loungewear, but I don't think, I think it's too nice to wear as loungewear. Like it's so comfortable and cozy and soft. It's, um, I don't know what the material is called. I can probably just look, but it, it's almost like a knitted t-shirt, but like really fine knit. It's so, so soft. And do you know what? When it first came, I did think I probably will wear that as loungewear because of the Ted Baker across the front. But then when I styled it in my pastels, it actually, it looked, I don't mind the Ted Baker sign and the branding. So I'm not a big fan of branding normally, but I, I think it looks actually really nice because I think it's really subtle and I quite like the white pattern. And it looks nice knotted like this too because of the boxy fit or tucked in. Um, so there's a couple of different ways to wear it, but it just looks so nice with white jeans and knotted um, for a kind of casual summer look and it's a really nice colour. I feel like this colour is really flattering um, and just easy to wear as well, especially if you want to like get into the pastel trend but you don't want to be like in bright lilac or yellow or green or something. This is a really easy way to wear it. Okay, so now we're moving on. We're moving over the pond. We're moving across the pond to Americana to Revolve. The first thing, I don't even know why I told you that. Um, okay, so the first thing is this like t-shirt, crop t-shirt thing, so I'm gonna put this on. Ooh. So this is the kind of cropped t-shirt and I really love this. I wasn't sure if I would like it because of the neckline. Um, cause it's like a, I think you call it a slash neckline and I bang on and on and on about how much I really like a high neck on this channel. Uh, and I do cause I find it more flattering, but actually I don't mind this kind of neckline cause I think it hangs really nicely and it's quite nice to have the option if you want of having it kind of off shoulder as well, though it does make it really short on that side then cause it's quite cropped. Uh, for me anyway, um, and it looks really cute just like with these joggers actually for kind of loungewear look. I'm gonna be showing you some different outfits here. I don't know why I keep saying that because you guys literally must be like, we get it. Um, and I don't know if I said already, but everything will be linked in the description below. UK, US, whatever links I can find and sizing information of what I'm wearing. For your reference, I'm between an eight and a 10, probably more towards a 10 since lockdown. Um, and my cream egg addiction <laughs> and uh, I am five foot seven or eight we we'll give or take an inch or two and Jack <laughs> thinks that I'm more like five foot six but I'm definitely like five foot seven slash eight uh, anyway life story over this um, crop top is so cute I really like that it's got these like wide sleeves it's got a little pocket detail it's kind of like a rusty brown color uh, and when it first came I got it it was next to these jeans because I got them to wear together and it does look nice with the blue but I was a bit like mm, do blue and brown go together that well I'm not sure and then I was like what am I gonna wear it with hello monochrome looks so nice with like I've got some high-waisted linen trousers looks really nice with those denim shorts cream um, like joggers um, smart track suit trousers um, black jeans so yeah there's a whole world of oh, other neutrals other neutrals like neutral jeans neutral trousers so yeah just because it doesn't go with blue denim doesn't mean I mean I think it does go blue denim I'm just like digging myself a hole it does go blue denim but I'm just saying that it doesn't go as well as I had hoped I think it will look better in neutrals okay so the next thing I got all of these kind of to wear with the jeans so um that's just so you know, <laughs> I'm gonna show the jeans last. Um, so the next is this cardi, let me put it on. So this is the little crochet cardigan on. Those of you who follow me on Instagram will have already seen this a ton because I just can't stop posting it because I love it so much and I've literally been wearing it a ton. Um, also, I think I've posted it quite a few times on here in like neutral outfits and ways to wear joggers and things like that. Um, but yeah, I really love this. It's kind of like a beigey color. It's got a really beautiful, trim can you see it's got this really beautiful white crochet trim on the crochet but it's just like white and that goes all the way around the edge and it's got little wooden buttons and i think this will be really nice open for like a little summer dress and also it looks nice done up as a top like a little knit you can wear like off shoulder if you want or on shoulder <laughs> down up loads of different ways it actually looks really cute with these joggers which i feel like i've said about everything in this video so far but what do you know it does um and also yeah just like denim shorts jeans everything i just think it's very cute and just kind of goes with everything probably going to be one of my go-to comfy tops for 
um, spring, summer. Then something that I wore for the first time the other day, this little black number if I put it on. So I wore this for the first time the other day to a Zoom birthday party and it was actually really fun. It was my first Zoom party. Looks like I might be having a Zoom birthday party too for my 30th, which is on the 23rd of May, if anyone wants to wish me happy birthday. <laughs> um, but yes, so uh, I wore it like this actually with joggers because, hello. <laughs> Uh, but it took me ages to decide what to wear because I was like, oh my gosh, this is my first social occasion. Like, when people are going to see me, I've got to, what am I going to wear? Jack was like, no one cares. <laughs> I was like, they really do. Um, okay, so let me stand here so you can see. Um, so this is just like a cropped, as you can see, like a cropped roll neck black jumper. It's quite wide, um, so like it hangs quite nicely. It's quite boxy actually on the shoulders. I don't know if it's because I sized up, but... I don't mind it. I don't know if it's meant to be that boxy. I think that I might have sized up. I'll put all the sizing in the description below. So I probably would recommend getting your normal size just so that it's not got these shoulder details. But I mean, if you don't mind them, I don't really mind them. I think it kind of adds to the character. Um, and then it's got these big wide sleeves again. Uh, and it's actually quite a big, let me show you, big roll knit. <laughs> it's a really big. <laughs> it rolls right the way up. Um, so it kind of is almost like a bit of a cow neck and it's not tight either, it's super loose, um, which is nice because no one likes a tight high neck because it makes you feel like you're going to be sick and claustrophobic. Then the last thing I'm going to show you, again I'm not going to put on the trousers but you will see me styling them there. Um, these jeans are from Girlfriend Denim and I adore these. I was a bit like, do I really need another pair of jeans? And then I realised, yes, I definitely do. Um, and I love Girlfriend Denim. They are an investment uh, compared to like Topshop, but they are really good quality. And um, they're actually sold on like Netta Porter and stuff as well. Um, but I really love these. And I do think it's worth buying off Revolve too because I think that they're actually cheaper and also... Uh, it's free shipping and returns in the UK anyway, so even though it's an American brand, um, it's free shipping and return, so it's, there's no benefit from buying from like Netaport or somewhere. Um, you may as well buy from the brand that make them. Um, but yeah, so they're like a real straight leg, uh, they've got these rips in the knees, and what I love about these, and a lot of girlfriend denim actually, but particularly these, is they're a bit longer. So I've actually had feedback from some of you guys on here and on my Instagram, that you're tall like me, like I feel like someone messaged me the other day and I was like, you've literally described it, you've hit the nail on the head. So I'm not tall enough to wear tall clothes and like tall jeans, but I'm too tall for the regular fit. So often when I wear jeans, they are a little bit cropped. And I don't mind the cropped look, I quite like it, but you don't always want cropped jeans or cropped trousers. So I think it's really nice to get a pair of jeans that are a bit longer. Um, because these aren't, they don't come in different lengths and also they look really cool rolled up and obviously if you are someone who is having the um, situation with crop then you, you don't want to roll them up again because then they're going to be like pedal pushers. Um, but yeah, so these are a bit longer which is really nice. They look so nice with like a heeled sandal just with like the heel poking out, I love it. Uh, and also they look nice rolled up. Um, so yeah, I really love these and I love the wash too. I just think Delphine Denim to me is like proper denim it's quite stiff um and they do take some wearing in and um, they can be like quite tight but then once you wear them in they're so comfortable and they are a really they like become a really good fit um i've got these in the 27 i think uh and i'm normally a 28 or 26 in top shop yeah i'm all i would say i'm like a 27 but most stores only do 26 and 28 like every two sizes so it's good as well paying a bit more that you get to pick the size so yeah i just think that they're like proper denim really nice wash i love that they've got the yellow stitching button up front um and they are just really nice and they're quite high waisted too which is really flattering so that is everything that i want to show you guys in that haul i'm trying to make my hauls a lot shorter I, i'm sure you guys have noticed and focus more on like styling and talking through the product so that it's not like overwhelming and just like here's another product here's another product if you haven't already i would love you to subscribe blah, 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 to subscribe to my channel uh, make sure you hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss anything because i am uploading all the time now and i will see you next time bye